Before the start of this season, pretty much everyone predicted Sergio Perez to be out of a seat for 2025. The return of Daniel Ricciardo was seen as a move by Red Bull to prepare him to take over Checo's seat after his difficult 2023. But with Daniel Ricciardo's disappointing start to the year and Perez's blistering start, the tables have completely turned. Today, I'm going to check out what has changed for the Mexican driver this year and look at whether or not he actually has a chance of retaining his seat beyond this season. So, let's get started. Sergio Perez's career has never been a sparkling beacon of success. He isn't the driver that five-year-old carters around the world look up to and say, I want a career just like Checo's. His career has actually been about as bang average as it can be for an F1 driver. At least, it was until a few years ago. From 2011 till 2020, he spent 10 seasons driving for bang average midfield teams, occasionally scoring a podium but more often struggling for points, getting crash compilations made for him and striving to find that last percentage point of performance that could have made him a race winner. As the sun started setting on the 2020 F1 season, it looked like his career would come to an end, as it does for so many athletes, without a stint on the top team and without any real fanfare or fond farewells. But then the 2020 Sakir Grand Prix happened, and just when it looked like Checo would leave the sport for good, he came out with the drive of his life. An incredible last to first drive in the pink Mercedes gave him a first ever race win, helped by one of the worst pit stop sequences ever seen by Mercedes, followed by a George Russell puncture. But all of a sudden, he had a seat at Red Bull for 2021. In recent seasons, we've seen plenty of cautionary tales about drivers being given a seat on the back of one performance, but since his appointment to the Red Bull team, he's not let them down. He was pivotal to Max Verstappen's title-winning 2021 season. In 2022, he made a massive contribution to the team's Constructors' Championship victory, but fell four points short of Charles Leclerc in the Drivers' Championship, meaning Red Bull missed out on a first-ever 1-2 finish. Things went off the rails in 2023, though. He wasn't happy playing wingman to Max Verstappen anymore and pressured himself to take on his teammate for a championship title. F1 drivers want to win. They believe they are the best. That's the only way to tame the beasts they drive week in and week out. But if you're trying to match yourself up against Max Verstappen, you're going to have a tough time. You're going to have to stay mentally strong and determined, and you're going to have to be prepared for failure. After a humbling Miami Grand Prix where Max drove out of his skin, reeling in Checo from a long way back, Sergio had one of the worst Grand Prix of his career in Monaco and entered into one of the most publicly analyzed slumps I can remember. Everyone was talking about how he was a problem for Red Bull, how he clearly wasn't up to standard, how they should just sack him mid-season and replace him with pretty much anyone the team could find. Every publication, broadcast and interview included something about Checo needing to be replaced. He was underperforming, but the way he was attacked from all sides must have made the task of coming back to form so much more challenging. He managed to stabilize toward the end of the season, but he certainly wasn't impressive. With his contract up at the end of 2024 and Daniel Ricciardo sitting at RB, everyone thought that was the end of Sergio Perez but he has looked like a man reborn so far this year. Speaking to The Athletic, Red Bull's Jonathan Wheatley said most of the grid would need the whole winter break to recover from such a bruising season. Perez, on the other hand, is able to put setbacks behind him quickly, which meant that last year was a distant memory by the time he put his visor down for 2024. He insists that the 34-year-old shouldn't be written off despite Verstappen's dominance in their intra-team battle. He said, most drivers, it would take the whole winter to get the mindset back, but he did an extraordinary job. He's somebody you do not underestimate. A key change in approach has been credited for Sergio Perez's upswing in form at the start of the 2024 F1 season. The Mexican missed out on Q3 a stunning five times in a row despite being in the field's dominant car and endured several miserable weekends but each season offers a fresh start and 2023 is already a distant memory. Speaking on the F1 Nation podcast, Fox Sports Mexico journalist Diego Mejia pinpointed a crucial change Perez has made over the winter. He's happy with the feeling he's getting out with the car. 
His benchmark, Max Verstappen, is the highest obviously, and he's done a perfect job. I think Checo is happy with how the season has started for him, Mejia said. Talking to him before the start of the season, he seems to have switched a little bit his approach in trying to enjoy more this year and look race by race rather than putting himself in the spotlight and saying, I have to beat Max every weekend. Sometimes he did last year and the year before when he was in the middle of the championship. He's taken a different approach. He knows it's a decisive year for him, but the way he's performing and the way other guys who are supposed to be looking after his seat are performing, I think it's a great start for him. Checo's performances so far and the unimpressive start to the season from both the RB drivers means he's quickly forced himself back into the conversation for the second Red Bull seat beyond 2024. Though, if you believe what the tabloids are saying, it might be the Red Bull first seat. While Verstappen has kicked off his season with back-to-back -back victories in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, Perez has held up his end of the bargain by ensuring that both were 1-2 finishes for Red Bull, as the RB20 sets the early pace of F1 in 2024. He's done that against a Ferrari team that have a car that is four-tenths of a lap quicker compared to Red Bull than it was last year. The Ferrari is definitely still slower, but it is closer than it was. Checo's qualifying performances are a problem, but he managed to come through the grid in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia to claim second place. From fifth in Bahrain, he passed both Ferraris and George Russell before holding off Carlos Sainz at the end of the race. Third on the grid in Saudi Arabia was much better from the Mexican, and he ended up a comfortable second place, five seconds ahead of Leclerc and 13 behind his teammate. Having been held up behind Lando Norris for a while after the early safety car, when Checo passed the McLaren on lap 18, he was already five seconds behind his teammate, but over the next 32 laps, he only lost 8.5 seconds to him, or roughly 0.26 seconds per lap. He would love to be closer, of course, but compared to last year, that is as dramatic an improvement as anyone could hope for. There is a big reason for this improvement. In 2023, he spent a lot of time experimenting with different setups, tinkering with everything on the car in an attempt to find himself an edge. That meant he never settled, he never got comfortable behind the wheel of the RB19, and with each poor performance, he tinkered more, making the issues worse and making the car slower. He did eventually realize that. It would have been easy over the winter to ask for changes in his team in the garage. He could have swapped out some engineers, got a new performance engineer in to help him improve and look for some pace that way. Instead, he realized his mistake, put his faith in the team he already had and kept them all on, and that is now paying dividends. Helmet Marco recently wrote that there is a key difference this year that Perez is no longer experimenting with his setups and rather following Verstappen's lead to begin with. This year, he's no longer experimenting. He's starting with more or less the same basic setup as Max, Marco wrote regarding Perez in his Speed Week column. There are just more nuances in which they set up differently. It is well known that Perez is a driver who likes a car that does what he wants, not too much over or understeer. That is why Red Bull's 2022 Challenger, the RB18, suited him. However, the RB18, unlike Red Bull's creations that have followed, wasn't that fast compared to the rest of the grid. The most recent Red Bull cars have been much harder to tame, much less compliant to the driver's wishes, but much faster, assuming you can control them. Verstappen has the talent to get the most out of cars like this, hence his current domination of the sport. Checo used to be fast with cars that were good-natured, claimed Marco, but good-natured cars are rarely fast. In 2022, it worked in his favor that our car was overweight. As a result, it had a more good-natured tendency, with more understeer and a stable rear end. But it wasn't fast. Ferrari was actually faster in the first half of the season. It was only strategy and Charles Leclerc's driving mistakes that tipped the balance in our favor. Now, our car is very fast and the fact that Max copes better with a nervous rear end than anyone else is down to his extraordinary talent and makes all the difference. As much as we would all love the second Red Bull driver to put pressure on Max and create a race for first place once in a while, Red Bull don't want that. They know that there isn't anyone in the sport who is clearly faster than Verstappen, and if they did have a driver that was closer to him in ability, it would only unsettle the team. What they want from a second driver is Sergio Perez. He isn't spectacular. He isn't in that upper echelon of F1 drivers who really look like championship winners. 
but so far in 2024, he's secured second places, he's scored points, and he's been settled. All Red Bull want is a reliable driver who's happy at the team, and if Sergio continues doing exactly what he's done in the opening rounds, then he will be the best driver for the team going forward. What do you think of Checo's season so far? And do you seriously think that Red Bull would want to replace him with Daniel Ricciardo at this point? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.